we're going to be taking a look behind the scenes of our seven figure SaaS funnel. Most people know us from my team running HL Pro running that white label technical support behind the scenes, making it easy so you get to spend zero hours per week in high level technical support. But what a lot of people don't realize is that this all started because back in 2019, I hopped in and started selling a white label version of high level. That was it. That's what created the need. First, I sold it. Then I got the customers and I was like, I guess we need to find a way to actually service these folks because I realized that really when you're dealing with the same software, you're competing on support, you're competing on service, you're competing on how well you can articulate the problem. So it became a competitive advantage for us. But all of that aside, I want to take a look behind the scenes of what is working today. It has been an evolution and I see a lot of folks out there trying to, you know, hop in, kind of position themselves like a guru. And, and there's little things that I'm noticing, which just tells me you must not be doing it in the real world because I'll tell you there are certain things we learn along the way that make the difference between hypothetically, this sounds good. And in all practicality, this is actually making money. So we are going to jump behind the scenes, take a look at it. And the best way that I found to do this is just to pull up my screen and show you kind of the map of what we got going. So I'm going to go from everything from awareness to retention, right? Everything from awareness to retention, we're going to be going behind the scenes of every little piece and part that we have going on in there. And so this is a good little map of that process. For us, this is not the only way to do it, but I've said it before is that you will never sell more than the number of folks who know what you sell. And so for us to ensure that people know what we're selling, we run Facebook ads. And so that's our phase one is Facebook ads. Even more so, we drive them to a Facebook lead ad form. Why do we do that? We try to align everything that we're doing with what Facebook likes, right? We're playing in their sandbox. And so we want to play according to their rules and their game. And so keeping it on Facebook, uh, making sure that everything, all of our creative kind of leads people to spend more time on Facebook. They tend to like it and they reward us with a lower CPM and therefore lower cost of lead. But so we're driving an interest base. This is what I call a clear offer. If you're like unfamiliar to any of these pieces where you're like, ah, how do I do this? How would I make this actually work? We have an entire training. hlprotals.com forward slash ads. I'll break through the entire process. We found there's about nine things you have to do to set up ads. You do it once, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So we put that all together in a membership area for you so you could go through step by step, get it working. But back to us, that's what we're doing. Top of funnel is Facebook clear offers running to a lead ad form. When that happens, then the, the cool thing is it pumps straight into high level. So high level directly integrates with the lead ad form submission, which is nice. And so we take that data and pump them through our text message sequence and our email sequence that is driving a call, right? Driving them to book onto our calendar. Now you might be wondering why do we do this instead of just going through to that funnel? Well, one part is we want interest, right? interest at the lowest cost. We come off with a very clear offer that just spells out exactly the problem that we solve and we get them to raise their hand and say, yes, I want that problem solved. Here's my information. It's like a first date. <laughs> then we get them to confirm the actual date <laughs> for the first date via, most of the time it's text. I'll tell them most of the time it is text, although we do a text and email follow-up. I have an icon here for the calendar. We aren't actually sending to a calendar. We do a conversational flow right? That means they actually text back and forth about availability and time. Now that sounds really inconvenient. If you haven't heard of Zappy Chat, this is another one of our brands, but Zappy Chat runs that entire process. So now we robots basically doing a conversational booking process. Hey, what time's good for you? They say, well, I'm picking up the kids until 2 p.m. We look at the calendar. If it's available 3 or 3.30, we say we can do 3 or 3.30, right? Time zone, confirm, you know, the reason why we don't send to an actual calendar page is because we found people are 500 times more likely to no show if they self book on a calendar page. So if you want your demo calls to actually show, have a conversation, don't send them to a self booking link because they probably won't show up anyways. Okay. So then we send them to a demo call. Now there's a big question here, demo list or demo call sales process. The reason why we do a demo call is because we sell it for a higher ticket. Right now, if someone comes on for a month of our white label SaaS, it costs them $500 and we get sales every single day. We pack out our sales team's calendars and they are closing every single day because we make it a no brainer offer, but also because we hop on this demo call. The secret to our demo call is we never show the software whatsoever. <laughs> Because it's not about the software. This is hard for people to get, but it's not the parts, it's not the pieces, it's just the payoff. 
There are so many things the software does, which is amazing. But when you get into how it's doing it or looking at what it looks like, you start to invite objections that were unnecessary to begin with. And so we sell folks on a demo call where it's really more of what you might consider a discovery call. But who wants to hop on a discovery call? They wanna hop on a demo call. So we're talking about how we're gonna accomplish what they're getting done, but it's really through questions of what their use case is, what they've tried before, what's not working, driving down on that pain and getting them to the point where it feels like an absolute no brainer. So functionally, that's how we're selling is on a demo call. Actually how we take payment right now, we do it with a pay link. So we send them a text to pay link. This is directly in a high level. You can create it right there and it creates this pay link that is super easy to check out. It's very simple, very straightforward. They can put in their credit card. They can even do it on their phone. Very easy. And so that's what we do with that pay link. Post call, we do a status update form. So this is a form that our sales team, our sales agents will fill out and say what happened. So there's, there's a few options that could happen, but the big ones are show, no show, and sold, right? So they fill out this show, no show, and sold. And if they are, let's say sold, they then go and they book an onboarding call. So that when we sell them with that pay link, first thing we're doing is setting them up on an onboarding call. This is a service that like we use from HL Pro Tools. HL Pro Tools does $97 white label onboarding calls. And we are basically just booking to HL Pro Tools' calendar with the white label onboarding team. And they take it from there. <laughs> that's, our, that's our fulfillment process. So the sales team marks it as shown, books that onboarding call, and it sends the reminding for there. If they are a no-show, we actually have found a no-show VSL. We created this no-show VSL funnel where we asynchronously sell them. We sell them via video. How do we do this? We actually have a Loom video. It is a true Loom video that is recorded as if they had no-showed, but we don't mention their name. We embed it into a funnel that looks like a Loom page and has all of the custom values that you might expect so that it's like, you know, video for their name right? That date, that time, all that stuff. So it looks like a Loom video. It technically is a Loom video, but it just feels personalized, even though it is the same video for everyone. This is how we found. We can close about 10% of our no-shows from a Loom video sales pitch. Basically, it looks like they no-showed on us. We only do it if they actually did. They actually no-show us. Sales team marks it as no-show. They get this message and this video saying, hey, sorry, you no-showed. Uh, but I, I figured I'd record you a little bit of what our process is like. And simply going over the offer, making them this no-brainer pitch, we're able to close about 10% of our no-shows. And so once again, the reason why we do this video or call sales process for us is we're able to charge higher ticket and we close a higher percentage. When you go to pure video, like I'll tell you 10%, that would be a horrible close ratio for us. But on a no-show, that's not bad. That's getting into more of like the webinar video sales letter close ratio. Where, where you still build up trust, they feel like they're connecting with you, but it's it's not actually a live call that's happening. And so that is the no-show flow. And then if they don't buy, because either the sales team didn't do a good job of, of understanding why they hopped onto the call in the first place, so selling them, we have a downsell. So we downsell via email and through promotion. Basically promotional downsells because a lot of times they're either price sensitive because we aren't the cheapest price provider on the market or the sales team did frankly a poor job of it. And so we just try to recapture those and in a sense for us, it's kind of recycling our cost of lead. People are always asking too, like what is your, what does your funnel actually look like? What does it look like on the funnel? The funny thing is, is all of this you may have noticed, they didn't actually have to engage in a funnel. We do have funnels. We actually use the exact same uh, funnels that we build and have as part of uh, HL Pro Tools for our, our, our SaaS fast track and stuff like that. And so this is what it looks like. This is one of the designs. I believe this is the one that we're actually using ourselves over here. Here's another one. This is I, my favorite color is green. So I'm a little bit more particular to this. But so these kind of funnels, what they do is they establish authority because you look legitimate. And it is, it, it, it highlights all of the features around payoffs. What does it actually mean for the business? What does it result in them in terms of like, what are they going to get from the software? No one really loves tools. What they love is results. And so all of this you'll notice though, drives back to that demo call process. And so if, if someone asked me, should you do a demo call or should you do demo list sales? Especially if you're starting off, I highly, highly, highly recommend doing the demo call. There's three things that you need and when you're launching into the sales process, you need problem market fit, which means you can articulate the problems 
that your, your ideal avatar are experiencing in their language. There's so many things high level can do, but if you start talking about the features, the parts and the pieces, you will lose them. You need to be loud about the problem. I've said it before, but the person who is loudest about the problem is believed to be the best at solving it. So you need to get good at understanding their problem. And one great way to get feedback on that is in a call, right? As you can see, they're gonna resonate. Are they experiencing the problem you're articulating, right? Are you telling them about? Second piece, price market fit. I told you, we sell for $500. That's because we have great problem market fit. We have become masters at being able to identify why someone would hop on a demo call in the first place and anchoring that to a value exchange where it feels like an absolute no-brainer. It's not an easy thing to do. And a lot of folks slap up a landing page, they throw a price on it, and they wonder, why aren't people buying? And they assume it's just the price. A lot of times it's not the price, it is the problem, it's the language. You Basically, you weren't effectively translating features into functionality, right? Into what does it mean? What does it pay off? What does it translate to in my business? And so I getting that problem market fit, getting that price market fit, and the last bit of social proof where there's a little bit more touch in the process where they, they, they believe you as the person behind the software. They trust you as the person behind the software. That's gonna make it a little bit easier when you're needing those testimonials to come in so you can really establish yourself as social proof. All of that framework there, getting that problem market fit, price market fit, and social proof, All of that is exactly what we go through in our done for you SaaS launch or our SaaS fast track. Either one of those things, we go into great detail and break down exactly how we do this. So if you are interested in a copy and paste of exactly what we do, we literally help people every single week copy and paste exactly what we do. I'll tell you why. The market is big enough. The market is huge. We have folks come in and and they do the exact same offer, exact same stance. I would say the addressable market for us is about 5 million businesses. I couldn't even handle 5 million businesses. <laughs> we feel pretty full and fulfilled bringing on hundreds of new businesses every single month. And so there is more than enough space. And so that's why we help folks in our HL Pro Tools, in our uh, done for you SaaS launch or our SaaS Fast Track. Either one of those um, give you that copy and paste formula. So if you're looking for resources about how to do that, learn more, or if you already have customers, you're just curious about what we're doing, of course, you should check out HL Pro Tools because that's where we do no brainer, white label customer support, making so you can spend zero hours per week in the headaches that you don't need to be dealing with anyways. Uh, but not a lot of people know that we actually run this. We are a business doing this day in and day out. And so if you want a copy and paste formula for that, uh, we're gonna make sure we got some resources down below. And uh, we'd love to hop on a call with you, learn more about what you're doing and see if this would be a great fit for you. So thanks so much for showing up, for tuning in. As always, I love any feedback. I, I respond to every comment personally and I'll uh, look forward to it and catch you on the next one.